hey everyone, Meowcity here, welcome back. Today we're going to be playing a little bit more of Dark's Dungeon 2, going into the Tangle, playing a little bit more with Sahar, the Duelist, for the first time. Uh, so we'll basically see what we can get done with her. I'm also playing to see if I can get the uh, Crusader in this. I'm not sure if we're going to be getting him on the first run or what the deal is with that, so we'll find out. Uh, so we're just going to go into the tangle. I did all the prep at the end of the last episode, so let's get to it. Alright, what do we got? He went toxic at the last episode's end of the last episode, so I'm kind of uh, concerned here. Nothing bad. Alright, acid rain, de-stresses Sitar. Once again, preparation. Magnesium rain empowers Sahar. I really have to ask, Acid Rain, Magnesium Rain, both of which she likes. What is it about painful rain that eats people alive and causes immense pain that she loves? I don't understand. And Faint empowers Para. I mean, we don't really need to empower Para. Alright, this is where my runs, in, the, or I should say, in the tangle, is where my runs with torches always usually went bad, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I do want to hit the hoarder if I can, and that would still allow me to hit the lair, which I think I'll do okay in. Oh wait, to get the three points I have to avoid the lair hoarder, so never mind. And the only other thing I see is the Oasis and the Cash. So, how do I want to do that? Unknown Watchtower Lair. I hit the Lair, I can't hit the Oasis, but then I can still hit the Cash and head up. All right. Sounds like a plan to me. Oh, the Chichurgeon. However you say that. I haven't fought him in a hot minute. He's fun and usually gives a lot of good stuff. Let's do it. Because I always have the option to run away, but I don't really like that. Which is up, mind your feet. Holy creatures, but if I must. And resign yourselves to fighting in the dark. That's the reason you don't want to fight him. Oh, she really doesn't like Para now. The thing that I want to go first is the urchin. I think that's what it is. Yes. Alright, so what are we gonna do here? We're gonna empower Para. No, we're not. We're gonna empower Para next turn. The woodsman. And do a fun little game. Where. We blight him. Woodsman has a little damage over time. More and more. Just for the tankiness. We are going to Magnesium Rain to burn them. That should be three damage on everyone. Well, one resisted. Otherwise, that would have been really good. He can take the crit. He can take the crit. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. He's going to restore like 45% of his health right there, so that's okay. We're going to get our repost, and then we're also going to empower Para. Flashing daggers, get Blight going. Guess still had one to resist. Noxious Blast, get the Urchin going. Seven damage around, he goes down. Agony by accumulation. Uh, if we sepsis, nope. Actually, this is something I had wanted to test, so we're gonna heal for nine. Yep, sepsis heals and then more and more heals. Nice. 
my attacking stance. So let's knock him back. No? Okay. Well. Undying. Don't need the dead of the night, so we're going to poison dart. Let's play on him. Armor break. Heal Sahar. A calculated generosity. What a welcome. Armor break two. Armor break three. Stress because no. Um, crit there because of. I suppose it's something on our wagon there. Anywho. Um. Two, 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 two. Let's just flick. There we go, crit. Another impediment. Oh, I thought that would de-stress her. Whoopsies. Alright, flashing daggers. A master stroke. Magnesium rain, burn them all. I want to get rid of who I can here. More and more. That gets rid of his tons, but it also puts the heal on him. That's what I didn't want to have happen. We're in defensive. Ignores normal dodge, not greater. And she has six, so she goes down. Let's punish. A breakthrough. Get the stress down while we can. Also puts her in stealth. Not that that's going to matter too much. And Pera, my friend. Yeah, I kind of figured. Yikes. The smallest variable can make all the difference. Double yikes. All right, disengage. Actually, not the one I wanted to do, but nonetheless, gets a dodge. This is no time to bolter. More, and more. Flashing daggers. Battlefield. Crisis. We can the buff to taunt. Okay. Faint is what I wanted to do. That's going to invert that. Owie. Now he's toxic. That's going to go lovely. Where did his health come from? Don't know, don't want to know. I'm just grateful. This will put burn on both of them. Then more and more is going to go off anyway. But we can do it nonetheless so that the surgeon there goes at him. Then, if we. We can't flick. But what we can do is go forward. He has three out of six. It's a death blow. Okay. So one left. Ouchie. Poison dart. Now we're just gonna dogpile him. Lethality. 
brutality. Probably should indiscriminate on Sahar by the end of this. Actually, let's do this for the stress on the heal. That'll get more going at him. A battlefield for the heal. Well, done. very nice. Oh, we still get a heal. Bonk him. Hopefully the blight takes him out. It's not because of the death blow. Um, we are armor break. He's gonna go down on his turn. Hopefully, I am gonna do this to heal. Fight through the fatigue. And Sahar can finish. There we go. One less. That's been a hot minute since I fought him. Another mastery point. We got a bone saw, spiked skull cap. Target bleeding. We get 15 crit applied to the attacker when hit. Apply it on crit if bone saw is equipped, which we have right there to bleed. Compress kit and position guild seal. That'll be nice. Round start. Regain two, 5% chance, 20% healing given from skills and a mastery point on top of the one we already have and the three we're going to get for avoiding vendors. So really quick. Lop. I mean, I know I could have probably used that, but. And I know we are not really fighting too much stealth, but it could be helpful. Let's go to the watchtower. It's going to have a fight on the way. Ooh, this is new. This is new. I got to look at this stuff really quick. Uh, sturdy enemies, 25% max health, 33%. I think that's movement resistance. Yes. Uh, so spiked barricade, 20 health, immune to pretty much everything but burning, and they are mobilized, cannot be moved, persist until end of combat. Swordsman and spearman, uh, 31 health and 36 health respectively. I think that means that he is an elite. They have guarded. By spiked barricade, block, and strength. All right, now we know what we're dealing with. Um, well, I guess we're gonna do a bit of preparation to de stress and get us an attack stance. On repost, heal self. Didn't really catch that the first time. Well, let's get rid of the weapon rack and maybe. Just damage it, I suppose. Okay. Well, let's start burning them. How does it feel to hide behind fire? I'm actually going to um, faint because then she gets her posts. And we're still going to... He's actually not guarded. So we're just going to blight him, the spearman. Now he has a bunch of damage over time. I mean, hit Damien all you want. Now no one's guarded. And now I'm gonna have a spot of fun. This wound at least has been tended to. Did, 
didn't the repulsed heal? What happened to the repulsed healing? Okay. Um, that might only be in... Attack stance or whatnot. Honor Pulse Gain Evasion. Yeah, that was only an attack stance. Lovely. I mainly want to take attack stance then. Stupendous. Yep. There we go. Aggressive stance. Then, this would deal 9 damage, then the other stuff would... Why would Sepsis do 9 damage? He only has 6 Blight. I'm about to find out. Okay. Heal that. No more bleed. Spearman down. Swordman gonna find out. Don't need to heal Audrey. So we're gonna blight the swordsman. Sahar is gonna touche. Break the weapon rack. Oh, we got our extra action. Lovely. And since I don't want the relationship down, we'll do that. Punish. He's looking a little grim right now, but that's fine. We heal off of that, I believe. A simple variable. Is All right. Resolved. The quest continues the for the Lost Crusade. Worn ragged by time. Tattered banner, combat item, Lost Crusade. Remind with the Argic bishops of the broken battalion to whom they owe their fealty. One target. Suppose I need to use that on someone. Uh, da, da, da. I think I'm doing fine on light. So we will do that. Yeah, I'm on 87. What did Sahar get? Periodic paralysis. That's fine. To the horizon and watchtower. Oh boy. Alright, so I can go to a shrine of reflection, which leads to a shrine of reflection, which leads to the lair, which leads to assistance encounter. Which oblivion ingress, cash, rampart. Which uh, I am gonna make a small adjustment here. Just because I don't think I'm going to be using these things on a big target. Brace up. There is danger on this path. We must understand the path. All right, let's get her third skill. Chapter 3 Insatiable. See what this is. Under more direct tutelage, she blossomed. A formidable fighter, fastidious in the extreme, and possessed of a ruthless single mindedness. It was this absence of fear that gave her an uncanny edge. Between instructor and pupil, the intimacy of martial respect boiled over into a simmering entanglement, and soon, 
Long hours of drills regularly culminated in amorous clashes, as fierce as any rencontre. Fun, fun. Mastery point. Lesh? I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. Plus 30% damage when self and aggressive stands. Self aggressive stands forward by three. Remove all dodges. So that could be a devastating move. I can't use it in row one though. Um, do, 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 do. I don't really use flick yet. I could see its uses, but I'm not going to be using it in this run. Watch me taking that off is going to be really stupid. And here is four. He knew me, yet he still pushed me. Chapter four, a taste of victory. Okay. After glow of their exertions, playful teasing gave rise to a contest of skill. Touche. They've obviously been drinking a lot. I'm guessing those are also food and someone else's clothes. Ooh, heal when aggressive. Uh, a mutant to defensive stance. Let's flick. I thought that would remove that. Invert. Disengage, because heal. Oh, this is where he's going to hit me hard, isn't it? Invert my stance. That'll heal me. Once again, I thought that would remove... Okay, well, greater guard, at least. Only take two damage. Gonna get the hang of this. <laughs> so I'm gonna attack, I can remove that. Convert and then do the same. No, I have the guard. He's going to hit like. 
Yeah. So now I need to get into attack stance to heal. Shoot. I'm not going to win this. Because of those. Shoot. Oh well. I at least know how it works now. Acknowledge the past. Can we be free from it? Well, I still got three of her five skills. I'm happy with that. The loathing whispers. All right, should we get the general down too? Within every keep, a general and his loyal lumbering guard. All right. Just for the de-stress. Flashing daggers, get the blight going. Get them burning. I'm also going to shuffle them if I can. No? Alright. So we'll give her a dodge. And then we're gonna faint. Just give her a post. Flashing daggers again. One's going down on his turn. He's going down on his next. We're going to heal a lot. Oh, no, never mind. We're not healing a portion of that. Uh, we'll blight them. Gonna take the corpse. Polwell defensive. I know that's gonna switch this foot soldier, but that's fine. I essentially wanted to hit him with a blight. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. So that's going to hit him for six. Four in the next turn, so I need to get him this turn. He goes down. Poison dart him. Blight should get him. So let's heal up. Advance. Oh, we got a big guy. I am going to blind him. The flashing dagger. Malaise. Measured and give her a dodge. Preparation because we're really close to going toxic there. So much for that dodge. Mm. 
This has a cooldown. Wonder what that actually did. So I said to use on a bishop. Burn them. Bold fast. Well, someone's going toxic again. No one likes him. I suppose it would be helpful to have someone to help manage his stress a little better. Or like if I would have helped not had the um, item I have on, but oh well. Nice para. Then flashing daggers again, get that blight going. Three and three for six. He almost got the um, drummer there. So if I play grenade, I should get him on his turn. Seps us to heal up. Two death blows. Only for one to come back. Forgot about that. Bravo! Oh, he's going down on his turn again. Eight and one for nine, twenty-three damage on him. I have no way of reaching him, so we're going to do that for now. And I suppose get the corpse. There we go. Now everyone can hit you. How's that feel? Probably should have used sepsis, but oh well. Anything fun here? Eh, nothing great. I know the reverberating redoubt can be great if I have a hero that's all alone. He has retreated. Undying into a dream, and there he must stay. Okay, I don't see any that are down there, so what I'm gonna do is touche. Get the oh, all does say tangled overgrowth one. All right. Then let's blind him. And flashing daggers has more crit. We'll do that. And I'm not sure that this is going to count, but. Post going. I did think I needed to hit a tap root there. We want to go back. Sepsis just to heal. And Kerblanc. I should get the other growth to recede, and he's still blighted. Taking seven around. I 
do kind of have a plan here. So back by one. Get that blight flowing if I can. This is no time to bolter. And there's our meltdown. Fourteen around. Gotta love that repost. She also got dysentery now, though. Oof. Thought that was just switch your back to uh, norm or, um, defensive, but I guess I'll have to do something else for that. Honestly, what I think I'm gonna do is that I should put him at 21. That's only going to do 34. So 26 around. Disengage. Oh, he heals from going to death's door. Okay. Yeah, this is not going to be good for relationships, but we're fine. We're okay. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. And he goes down. Or armor break, I suppose, but I'll end him this turn. That heals Damien. And that ends him. Cut down these nightmares. The Lost Crusade. To your redemption. Unique reliquary. Valuables. The crusade passed through these parts. Each of the 100 crusaders were entrusted with a specific reliquary inscribed with sacred texts. They contained essential icons and artifacts of faith. The lock is rusted tight and requires tools to open. Deliverable. The loathing <laughs> abates. Now I gotta get rid of stuff. Or to use stuff. Not gonna need the burn resistance. I'm not gonna need the glimmers of hope. I'm not gonna need these chalk things. All right, we're good for now, and we'll heal up at this next fight. We can do that. These seasoned soldiers were deployed to a winding front, meant to prevent the cult's descent from the mountain. This is new. Ah. Apparition. Flashing daggers. Not that I can bleed them, but, or blade them. Two spearmen, two barricade, both guarded. Or more, so haunt. I think I can basically keep them in line with that. We're gonna indiscriminate to heal. Solidarity may yet arrest this collapse. Let's 
Switch to defensive. Yeah. Oh, I meant to uh, do the other one. Oh, well. The amino will heal up from that. Probably more than he's getting hit for. So he got hit for 10. Burn him. So this will hit him for five. And gets healed for 24. <laughs> One. Uh oh. Taunt, please heal her. The path of exculpation need not be a lonely one. to get into offensive or aggressive flashing daggers blight him malaise measured and steady take out the one we can really don't care about all those buffs this road cannot be walked alone. That's meltdown. That's not going to be pretty at the mountain. Dead of the night, the corpse. So much for the dodge. Another impediment cleared with impunity. I really thought the crits were going to be doing more stress relief there. I don't think I'll be making that mistake again. I don't even remember what it is to remove it. Oh, it was the killer's glow. I so I can't remove it regardless, but I didn't think it was going to be that bad. <laughs> Don't need these pouches. At this point, I'll take the N item. Not what I thought it would be, but it'll be helpful. Your coach is laden. You can carry no more. You know what? These might be helpful. As might these. A simple choice. At least it should be. So if that reliquary there, the box I got from the um, bishop, 
unlocks the Crusader, I'm gonna laugh. Cause I heard that you need to like do so many different things to unlock the Crusader that it wasn't even funny or like fun. And a lot of people wanted to refund it. We'll get the buffs. Cool. Once again, Altar, then Trumpeter, then these guys again. Back row, very dangerous. So, do, do, do. Disengage. Here's our dodge. Flashing daggers, get him. Hoping the blight. No, it's a little, not enough, but with a um, play grenade, it will be. Uh, let's do this. Then more, more. Actually, uh, because of Snappy Swig, that'll be enough. What's your burn resistance? Good enough. Trumpeter down. Or Herald, rather. We're going to... Faint. There's our repost. A promising development. Armor break. He goes down on his turn. Dead of the night heals stress. I'm actually going to um, armor break here. A brilliant conclusion. Actually, it has seven health, so I'll leave it alone. Uh, I can't ignore the stealth, which is what I want to do. So we're going to empower, or strengthen, and also de stress. Might as well just get rid of it. Bonk him. One down. Get rid of stress. Heal up. And survey says flesh will do fourteen. I forgot about those. Hold fast. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. I'll see if I can't use another one. This wound at least has been tended to. I will not. Sweet reprieve. Until the bleeding resistance you. and hardened heart, not bad. It's actually a decent one. A base. Not sure I'll need that. All right, onward. I forgot that wasn't the rampart, that was just an ingress. So I'm still gonna have to fight a few things. So the relationships might even get worse yet. They have nothing left to give. Oh, 
Oh boy. All right, what do we get at the cash? An impressive haul. Put it to good use. Yeah, I really don't want this stone mount, so that can go away. I'm gonna take the whiskey flasks. I'll, I'll just do it this way. That's gonna be worthless. This is gonna be worthless. Not sure that's gonna be great. Honestly, I can't even use the complete catalog. I'm, I, I feel bad tossing it because I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to use it at the mountain or not. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. And beyond that, Oh, we do have room for, like, one more thing. There we go. Inventory full. Right, here we go. Let's see how this one goes. I'm gonna have one meltdown here, probably. Let's try to fix that at least. <laughs> oh, one, two, and two. A brilliant conclusion. Well, it's going to be easier to get the altar now. I'm actually going to more and more. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, let's let's self back by one no matter what, right? Oh, it's stealthed. So we'll just do this. It is resisting those blights. The mind's grasp grows tenuous. How did I miss that one? goes down. He has dodge, so we're going to poison dart the cherub. Cherub has six out of six. It goes down. Then that gets rid of the dodge and the block. Disengage. Dead of the night. A wash in turmoil. And toxic. Those two are like hated by everyone, including each other. This road cannot be walked alone. 
just to heal him. Yeah, faint switch. Get stressed down. I'm highly guessing that what I am doing would not work on a higher level difficulty. Fellowship forged through toil. Well, it's really not meant to. It's meant to get me skills with Sahar here and unlock someone. So. <laughs> Alright, he goes down. I get to go to inn. Cut down these nightmares. And I misstep. Trail to your redemption. I'm really tempted to put that on. Um Damien there, but we don't have a stained trinket anymore. I got rid of it. to the general's dream. Okay, so on one hand, only the boss really left. On the other hand, no one likes each other. Can probably the fix that. Does much for the weary body, even more perhaps for the restless soul. Okay, so the Wainwright prize open the unique reliquary plus five percent stress resistance per negative token in the inn plus five percent damage resistance per positive token. That can be good. Provisioner eagerly accepts the physician's guild seal for the. Chichurgeon that we got very early on, that's plus one um, mastery point, plus round start to regain for 5% for the entire thing here, plus 20% healing given from skills for the entire thing. Uh, Anti-commerce complete, three mastery points, para, gained a quirk, tuckered out, we got book burner, and we got the jinx. Finally, someone got something good. We also got botulism, periodic. Amongst the icons and relics, a ragged copy of the Crusader's Creed. Quest continues, Sanctified Scroll, Stagecoach Item, The Lost Crusade. The Crusader's Creed, an inspiration to the desperate and the downtrodden, spread the word amongst the peasantry. Their defenders endure, must be equipped to progress the Lost Crusade. Three mastery points. One mastery point. So Sahar only has botulism. I guess you can only have one disease. So I'm like, how many diseases does this girl actually have? All right. So I'm going to do this Your stuff really quick. Be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. I'm going to be getting rid of most of my stagecoach items anyway, so we're going to probably get rid of that. Serve you well. I can't complete use the complete catalog at all, so we're gonna get rid of that. Call forth the faithful. And don't need that anymore. So let's take a look here really quick. Experience. Nine. Painful is the greatest teacher of all. So I definitely want sepsis at max just for the damage. Well, someone else really quick. Absinthe, if I need to remove any burn, blight, bleed. Poison dart, if I get her stealthed. Which Reparty doesn't remove anymore. Well, so I'll keep that in the bag. Magnesium rain, giving an additional burn. Noxious blast. 
and Sahar faint having an additional repost. Oh, we already have that. Uh, I want Fleshe to do more damage, definitely. Also having more crit. Plus 5% crit also when in aggressive stance. It's slightly more specific, so instead of just removing all dodges, it's remove all dodges when not defensive. So if I used it in defensive, I still keep my dodges. That could be okay. Preparation um, gives me a few additional boosts. More repost damage when defensive or crit when an aggressive. So if I were to use something else and then preparation, it's slightly more worthwhile to use. And then all I have left on her is disengage, which I don't use too often. And all it does is up damage by one crit by 5% and the pull knockback, which I don't really want. So, okay. Uh, what I am curious about, I did not lock any additional paths. Okay. I think I have to beat the game like once or twice with her to do that. So we have Lash's gift left. We have a party, which won't be a thing on the boss. And we have disengage. Okay. So Lash's gift in that. Combat in items. Two targets. Everyone hates each other, so we're going to do the playing cards. We're going to do the roast pig. So that doesn't even count as food. Uh, whetstone here, whetstone here. Honestly, I'm just hoping to get everyone to eight at this point. Stun resistance. And what do we get up? Provisioner. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. So whiskey barrels for sure. Dartboard could be good. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Songbook of rousing tunes. Body tales. Uh, can counteract the touching dirges. Can also use the poetry. Something to ease the rigors of the road. Get some whiskey flasks. And I, I don't have room for those. Okay. So we're going to use this really quick because of the stress. There we go. We got an 11. We got an 8. We're getting some places. There's our speed. So 14 and 14 as a friendly. If I do him and Audrey, they could use some crits. Okay. Provision again. Whiskey, whiskey. One more whiskey on you two. So that's two, three, four. Or two, four, five. Would put her at six. I would need almost all of these. So that is far more likely. I forgot that they can have plus twos from that. Right, so I need plus two. Can I scrape that together from like anything here? Boxing gloves. Ooh, I'm going to have one unfriendly. That's not going to be great, but that is what it is. 
So I think what I'm going to do is go in with the Book of Creative Insults on someone here. The boxing gloves on a few others. And some holy beads. Holy beads there. Creative insults on him. He got a rudite. Wait. I said I needed two. Let's go for it. We can do this. Did I pull that out of my butt? Neutral, friendly, friendly. Neutral, neutral, friendly. Neutral, friendly, neutral. No unfriendlies. Let's go. All right. And then I f totally forgot about the poetry. So, like, I, I probably could have done that a bit easier, but... I don't think I have anyone on the precipice of being friendly with each other. So... You two get poetry. Because you totally need it. And I already ate, so the food doesn't make any difference. These don't matter. And then we'll go into the mountain after we rest. And then we will pick up from there next time fighting the boss of the first confession. Which I know isn't too much of a thing, but it's been an interesting ride using Sahar. And I will figure out how to get the Crusader, hopefully, afterward. I'm not sure if I get him, like, after this run or if there's more to his storyline and all that jazz. It's been kind of interesting. So, uh, like I said, we'll pick up from there next time. And as always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time. And please, have a good one.